All right, so I've got a little problem with my uh, Tormach PCNC 770 today. Uh, we've recently upgraded to PathPilot, as you can see right there. Okay, and we're doing fourth axis parts, which is pretty much all we run. And we've got the Tormach uh, Super Saver, and attached to it, we've got this rather large servo from uh, Technic, one part of their ClearPath series, uh, which is an amazing servo. We used them on all of our. Uh, you guys can see way over there let's all of our tags run them and we run them on our router as well uh, so very familiar with these servos they're they're awesome love them um, and when we had this hooked up in Mach 3 uh, it was working no problem but now that we're in path pilot um, what I'm, I'm getting a, a weird error let me do this real quick we're, we're gonna spin the a axis ten times uh, it's gonna be interpolated with with a one inch Z move all right so we hit enter all right as you guys can see we're spinning and Z is moving ever so slowly down one inch. Uh, it's going to go 10 rotations. All right. And let's watch what happens when it stops. Okay. You guys see it crawl to a stop there at last degree? Last degree and a half. The longer you spin that axis, the longer that crawling stage is when it decelerates. Okay. Um, and this is our INI file with our parameters for a Formark 770. Okay, here's what we've got for our axis three, which is our fourth axis. Um, and then the original values were 29 or 22, 69, uh, 50 for scale or 500 for scale. And we have changed them to 20, 125, 8,000, and then you're 20% higher for your step gen uh, max velocities. Okay. Then we've increased our shuttle speed jog rate, and then we've also uh, we had, we left all the PID tuning parameters Tormach stock because the they stock they run um, uh, steppers. So I don't know what these values actually are in here for, uh, but they're Steppers, not uh, servos. Uh, and this is your nanoseconds for your pulse length and stuff. Uh, then we've also got down here before we change our scale to 200. So that's what problem we're having. I'm not sure uh, what's causing this issue, but it's resulting in a twisted part. You guys can see those should be triangles, and all the triangles have twists in them. Okay. So it goes all the way through the dice. You guys can see it even on the back side. Okay, so this actually goes in the part this way, like so. Okay. Like so. All right. And then we spin it like this and machine around it, moving the Z axis up and down. Okay. So that's the problem I've got. I was wondering if you guys could uh, help us out with it because this is kicking my butt. I'm not used to. I said we had this working in Mach 3 just fine. We switched over to PathPilot. And because Path Pilots gives us, lets us spin this even faster because uh, uh, we were limited by the amount of pulses we could send out from the, uh, the parallel port. So we don't really want to go back to Mach 3, uh, but I would like to get this working in Path Pilot. Um, so any help would be appreciated. Uh, I'm not familiar with Linux or Linux CNC, which is based off what Path Pilot is based off of. So if you guys got any ideas on what parameters we can change or anything, let me know.